Hi, I'm Maddie. Hi, I'm Ish. Hi, I'm Robert. Welcome to Electrical and Computer Engineering at UC San Diego. Right now, I'm talking to you from my apartment in San Diego. It's around a 10 minute bike or bus ride to get to campus, which is pretty convenient. And a lot of students live around that distance or maybe a little further if you have a car. However, my roommate and I are hoping to move into the graduate housing soon. Uh, most of our friends live on campus and it's pretty nice. It has pools, it has hot tubs, workout areas, grills and ping pong tables, and even a bar for trivia nights, which are pretty fun. The three main forms of transportation to campus are biking, taking the bus, or driving. My preferred method is biking because then I don't have to deal with finding a spot on campus. However, there are many parking structures available if you do live further away and decide to drive to campus. Behind me is Hopkins parking structure. It's where a lot of graduate students come to park before their days on campus. Um, so you'll learn more about the permits when you arrive, but we've got A, B, and visitor, which is open to everyone. At the center of campus is the Price Center, which is home to many restaurants and student organization activities. I like to use the Price Center because it's a quick walk from my office at Jacobs Hall. My favorite restaurant there is Santorini, which is a Greek girl. However, if I'm working late at night, sometimes I'll grab a $1 burger at Burger King or a sandwich at Subway. Additionally, the Price Center hosts many student organization activities. For example, last year I attended a comedy show in one of the ballrooms, and also the Graduate Professional Student Association hosted a Halloween party um, with lots of food, drinks, and dancing. The Jacobs School of Engineering is uh, named after Qualcomm founder and former EC engineering professor Arvin Jacobs and his wife Joan Jacobs. It currently has six engineering departments including our Electrical and Computer Engineering or ECE. The Jacobs School is located in Warren Mall. Warren Mall is the hub where you find skateboarding, flying drones, or perhaps some students having lunch or people playing frisbee. Jacobs Hall is the oldest building for ECE and can be easily recognized by the iconic sculpture called Fallen Star. Built by artist Doho Su, it is located on the seventh floor of Jacobs Hall. Really hard to miss. Fallen Star is an artistic rendering of feelings a person may have when moving to a new city. It makes you think what a home really means and how you can make a home even in an unfamiliar location. Very fitting for students traveling around the world to study at UC San Diego. The house is available for tours and I highly recommend you visit it sometime. It looks even more beautiful at night. Let's walk inside Jacob's Hall. It locates the EC administrative office, classrooms, and research labs. You will meet many EC professors and graduate students working on cutting-edge research. Many events such as research showcase, poster presentation, and seminars are organized here. On the third floor of Jacobs Hall, we have a place only for students the ECE Grad Lounge. Hello, this is our uh, Grad Lounge and we have ping pong tables and many other board games that you will enjoy in your free time. Walk a few steps from Jacobs Hall, we have Atkinson Hall, which welcomes you with another sculpture a huge bear made of stones. It is 23 feet tall and weighs more than 300 tons. Atkinson Hall is the home of the California Institute of Telecommunication and Information Technology, also referred to as Qualcomm Institute. Aside from its research labs, offices, and meeting spaces, the Atkinson Hall also houses a large nanofabrication clean room facility, prototyping facility, and a robot Jew. Just behind Atkinson Hall, 
that is Franklin Antonio Hall. Under construction. The building will be designed to foster collaborations between various fields of research via shared laboratories and work areas. Here is the UCSD Ecological Park, which is a very large eucalyptus grove founded in the 1950s. It's actually only about a five minute walk from Jacobs Hall, so it's a great place to walk, stretch, get some nature, de-stress a little. And it's also a great place for uh, trail running if you're into it. I'm standing in front of the Geisel Library, named after Theodore Geisel, also known as Dr. Seuss. Geisel and his wife Audrey were good friends of the university, and in their honor they named this beautiful, brutalist masterpiece after them. It was designed by the architect William L. Pereira, who is famous for many other distinctive buildings across California, including the Transamerica Pyramid in San Francisco and the futuristic X-shaped theme building of Los Angeles International Airport. You might also recognize the Geisel Library as the inspiration for the Snow Fortress building towards the end of the Christopher Nolan movie Inception. The Geisel Library is one of the most iconic buildings on campus. It provides access to over 7 million volumes to support the UCSD community and has a wide variety of study and collaborative spaces for student use. Outside the building, you can spot a statue of the library's namesake, resting knees and arms, admiring the brutalist structure. This past fall marked the 50th anniversary of the Geisel's opening, and it's sure to support us for years to come. While the library is less lively at the moment due to COVID, the snake path to the foot of the building continues to draw foot traffic from tourists and students alike. So behind me there is UCSD Recreational Center and here we have a big gym and many sports facilities like uh, basketball, squash and on the right you see a large baseball field. It hosts many sports events as well as UCSD commencement ceremonies. UCSD also has three big swimming pools and many other sports facilities. One of my favorite parts about UC San Diego is the location. There are so many activities to do both on and off campus. Welcome to the ECE balcony. Uh, this is the third floor of Jacobs Hall. Uh, it's where our graduate student council hosts all of our social events. So we've got coffee hours every week. Um, we also host once a quarter, we have dinner socials with music so you can dance and socialize. We have free dinner and also free drinks for everyone who attends. The glider port is just a short walk from campus and stands on the edge of a cliff. You can go there, rent some equipment, and just fly around the ocean for a while. Additionally, there are many beaches in the San Diego area. My favorite is La Jolla Cove, which has hundreds of seals and sea lions, and as you can see, they're pretty friendly. Additionally, you can even snorkel in the water with them. San Diego is also home to Balboa Park, SeaWorld, and the San Diego Zoo. Additionally, there are hundreds of restaurants, bars, and breweries to explore on your weekends off. If you're looking for a great engineering school, and also a place where you're going to stay sane for the two to six years of graduate school, UC San Diego is the place for you. We hope to see you soon.